Hey guys, this is just a quick video that I wanted to go ahead and do and discuss. So I feel like I might have messed up. So as you guys know, I was a pretty big proponent of hitting Sanctum over Morale Tank. But now I'm starting to think that that may not be the correct move and Morale Tank might be the actual correct move. So let me explain myself. So if we were to hit Sanctum to 1 and keep Morale Tank at 3, would the engine die is the question. And really to answer that question, you really have to think how far would the player base be willing to extend into their plays, into their, you know, their artifact plays, if it w would, were to be tweaked and altered from just three moral attack and three sanctum. So when I sat down and I thought about it, you have other routes to summon moral attack from the deck that you know, it's not the best right now, of course, because we have 3 Sanctum. But if Sanctum were to go down to 1, would people try this new method? And what I was thinking of doing was it would require more splashing of the artifacts in your deck, but it would f work not probably as consistently as sufficiently as just 3 more attack and 3 Sanctum, but it'd still be possible. So it would be 3 more attack, 3 ignition, 1 Sanctum, of course and two bagel top so the idea is that of course you only have one sanctum so you can use that one sanctum summon your morale attack pop something whatever but of course you will have these bagel tops with these ignitions so ignition of course kind of like an mst which of course you can go ahead if you need to ignition mst your own background so you'll be able to go ahead and ignition an mst like a um, morale top that you drew and of course you'll get something to go ahead and pop but of course with the bagel top you can go ahead and do the combo where you ignition your bagel top the ignition would set the morale top bagel top would be summoned bagel top would destroy the morale top morale top would be summoned pop your card your opponent's uh, card and the next turn you can exceed right into a pleadish so the thing is is that if we hit Sanctum, the engine would just be altered, but it wouldn't be dead. If we hit Moral Talk, you can have 3 Sanctum, but you're not really going to do much with 3 Sanctum with only 1 Moral Talk. I kind of felt like maybe OCG thought of this, and they came to the same conclusion that I did, so I, you know, I probably should have sat down and thought about it. Or maybe my ignorance of the artifact engine and, you know, just how putting blinders on I think I was kind of stuck in the whole set precedence thing and I kind of wanted to deviate from oh we should hit this card just because uh you know OCG hit it because I'm kind of feeling like maybe OCG was right on this one yeah because I used to do that engine I used to run uh artifacts in my console deck and that would be one of the major plays I would do I would ignition my bagel talk bagel talk would I mean ignition would set the moral talk bagel talk would summon back bagel talk destroy moral talk moral talk summon destroy your opponent's card and then XC right into a pleading next turn. So yes, the engine would be different. It would require more cards in the deck. But I think it would still be alive if Sanctum were to get hit. So I think I'm starting to think that maybe Morale Attack should be the one. I don't know. Like I said this ban list is coming out soon. It should be here. I'm predicting Tuesday. They usually put it out on like Tuesday. They put it out on Tuesday last time, so yeah. It should be Tuesday, uh, and I guess we'll just go out and see, but I don't know. I just feel like I'm incorrect on this one, that if we put Sanctum down to one, they still have three Moral Attack, three Ignition, three MSTs, you know, uh, one Sanctum, and then like two Bagel Attack, and then you should be able to still do artifact plays that you want to do. Uh, so, I don't know. I, I, I feel like, yeah should be more attack. Now since I sat down and talked about it and discussed it and thought about it in this logical way instead of just trying to be a rebel and trying to deviate because you know no one was, no one was giving me a, a you know, justifiable reason of why moral talk should hit. They're just like moral talk should be hit because OCG did it and it wouldn't kill the deck but yet it would. It would definitely definitely kill artifacts. Definitely. They would be pretty much done but you know, it might have to be done just to make sure that this engine doesn't continue or be altered. I mean, it's not like Konami's making any money off of artifacts anymore. Deck's kind of done. 
I, yeah, our attack would kill that. Definitely, it would have no bite anymore. You can, I mean, the engine would be done, of course. You're not gonna run three sanctum with only one mile attack. That's dumb. But you can run three mile attack with only one sanctum because it's big mission. Completely forgot about that card. So <sighs> you can either limit morale attack to one and keep sanctum at three. Or you can limit ign both ignition and sanctum. I might do it. I might. I might do it. You know, and, and like I said, it all depends on how much of how much people want to run. Because you know, there's a ton of people who say that you know, Mar Bagel Talk just sucks, and they would never do that. But you know, with sanctum hit, I mean, that's all you need. Which is all you need is a a Bagel Touch and a sanctum, and you got yourself a morale Talk pop and two level fives on the field just to make right that please. You can just during your end phase, ignition, my card. Oh, it's Bagel Talk. Set the morale talk, Bagel Talk, pop the morale talk, morale talk, pop your face up card. This is all during your end phase. Alright, my turn. My turn, draw, make a please. So. Mm. Yeah. Like I said, now since I brought up this. Brought this up. I'm thinking, yeah, it should be morale talk. Morale talk would kill the deck, which this point does it really matter if the deck is dead I mean not really they're not making money off of it besides a couple of people who still want to play the deck you, know, you would have to play like a pure archive you pretty much have to take a page from the notebook of uh, the guy who got what second place in uh, second place in worlds and try to look at his deck but you know, of course now since we have shadows and stuff that may not be the wisest thing of course and Instruction's not the best right now, mm. but that pretty much be it. The, the engine will be dead if Moral Talk got hit. But Sanctum gets hit, the engine will just be altered. And it, like I said, it really depends on how hard duelists want to work for it. Is it really worth working for it? That's the question. Uh, I think we should just kill the engine. I don't, I don't think that we should give them the opportunity to alter it or anything. No. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm wrong. Now, now sitting back and talking about it and discussing it and fingering it out myself instead of just, you know, bandwagging with everybody else. Oh, OCG did it and, oh, hey, my all talk won't kill the deck, so we leave saying you know. But now since I've explained it and gone into details about it, I, I can see it. I can see it. I don't know. Tell me what you guys think. I'll probably make, like, an annotation and, like, my bandless video, pretend my bandless prediction and my uh, top five, maybe make, like, a... Like an annotation so people can click on it and come to this one and, you know, s discuss it with me. I don't know. I just feel like, I was just sitting here thinking about it and I was just like, you know what? I'm just not completely sure. So go ahead and tell me what you guys think in the comment section below about this whole, you know, altercation of the engine. So, uh, thanks for sitting here listening to me debate with myself. And I will see you guys on actual Bamas, ho hopefully this Tuesday, hopefully uh, Tuesday the 23rd, we should be getting the Bamas, hopefully. So, yeah, cross our fingers and let's go ahead and just see what uh, Konami wants to do. Thanks for listening.